Hello there. So, why is your program returning Java error identifier expected? If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a Java program, but you can even compile your code because you are receiving an error that said Java error identifier expected. So, what does this mean? In this video, I will explain you what this error means and we will see programs that encounter this problem and how you can fix it. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by explaining what the identifier expected message means. This error is a compilation error. A compilation error means that the code doesn't comply with the syntax rules of the Java language. For instance, one of the syntax rules in Java dictates that there should be a semicolon at the end of every statement. Missing this semicolon will cause a compilation error. The identifier expected is a compilation error that is indicating that you wrote some code where Java doesn't expect it. You could encounter this error in many different cases. So, perfect. Now that we better understand what the error identifier expected message means, let's see a few examples of how we can fix it. Here is our first example. This code is just defining a class and it contains one code line to print the message hello. So, if we compile this using the Java C command, which is the Java compiler, and we run the command from the terminal. Then we get an error saying identifier expected. This error can be slightly confusing because it's suggesting that the problem is in line 2. However, the problem is that the code is not in the correct place or in a place that Java understands. So if that is not the correct place, then where is the correct place? Java expects the code to be inside a method. So, all we need to do to fix this problem is adding a method to our class and place the code inside. So, let's change it. And compile this file again. And awesome, the code is compiling now with no issue. Let's see another example. This second piece of code is quite similar to the previous one, but it has two more lines where it creates an instance of the class example and then it calls the method print that is defined above. So let's compile this code. And now we got a compilation error at line 7. As before, this error is indicating that Java found a piece of code where it's not supposed to be. So to fix this problem, we can move the code to a method. So let's compile this now. And um, perfect, the code is compiling correctly. You might be wondering, what about line 6? Is that supposed to be inside the method as well? The reason is that line 6 is a variable declaration. Variable declarations can be outside the method, and Java will interpret it as a class field, and the variable scope will be the whole class. So, we reach the end of this video, where we have seen what the Java error identifier expected means and how you can fix it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.